Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good to see you back. In this video, we'll learn the concept of deployment slots, and then we'll see that how we can deploy deployment slots in Azure. So deployment slots is also known as blue-green deployment. And what is the use case of Azure Web App deployment slots? So let's understand the concept and then we'll see the same in action by deploying it. So take an example, you have a web app deployed in your environment. And this web app, once you deploy, it will create a URL. So in this case, the web app, web 3003 that we have deployed in our environment, will be getting a URL web3003.azurewebsites.net. Now, in this web app, we also have the web page deployed. So take an example, there is an application, and this application is a simple web page, which is showing welcome to web3003. So when users are accessing this web app URL, they can see a web page, welcome to web3003. Now, let's take an example. There's a requirement is to deploy the new web page, but we don't want to overwrite the new web page on the same existing web app that we have in production environment. So what we can do is we can create a deployment slot. So by creating the deployment slot, what we can do is that we can create a deployment slot two within the same web app in that deployment slot either we can simply clone the content from the first web app that we have or what we can do is that we can create a new application on the new deployment slot so in this case taking an example that we have not cloned the existing deployment slot or the existing web app that we have and we have deployed the new application on the new deployment slot. So in this case, there's a new URL which gets created with the name of web3003-02.azurewebsites.net. So now for the testing purpose, if we access this URL, we can see this content posted over there. But now all the users in our environment, they are accessing the old URL and they are getting the same old content or the same application. Now, how do we ensure that all of our users will start accessing the new content that we have posted in the new deployment slot? First option is that we can tell all of our users to go to the new URL and then start accessing the new content or the new application. But is it feasible? No, it is not feasible. So in that case, we need to tell all the users to access the new URL. Take an example, we have a Facebook. Now in, in future, if Facebook uploads a new content and every time they are uploading a new content, if they keep on changing their URL, informing and giving an information to the customer that now they need to access the new URL to access facebook.com, instead of accessing the old URL, it is not feasible. So what we can do is that we have a simple option of swapping the deployment slots. So by swapping the deployment slots, what we can do is that we can simple swap it. And when we swap at the back end, it points to the new content. So now what is going to happen is that now when users are trying to access the same old URL, they can see new application or the new content, which we have deployed in deployment slot two. Now the content at the back end will be swapped. So which means the web URL web3003.azurewebsites.net when users will try to access this URL, they can see the new application or the new content that we have deployed in deployment slot two. Similarly, we can again swap it if in case we are making further changes to this content. So this is how you can swap the deployment slots in your environment to ensure that the users are always going to the newly deployed content. And the best part of using deployment slots is that if you think that the new content that users are pointing to is not relevant, or there is some bugs that has been identified, 
then you can simply swap it back and users will start going to the old content which we have swapped earlier. So that is how you can make use of deployment slots in your environment. So I hope you have understood the concept of deployment slots. So now let's go to the demo and see that how we can actually deploy Azure Web App deployment slots in Azure. So let's start with the demo. To start the same, let's go to the app services. So as of now, we already have one web app created with the name of web 3003. Let's open that. Let me hide this. So before we start creating the deployment slots, let me open this default URL and check the default page. So this is the default page that we have. Now let me go back to the web app. On the left hand side, under deployment, we can see deployment slots. Click on deployment slots. Click on add slot. And here we need to give name of new slot. For this example, we'll name our slot as 02. Now the full URL will be web 3003-02.azurewebsites.net. Now we'll say add. Once it is added, there will be a new URL which gets created. Okay, so as we can see that the new slot with the name 02 is created, but on the deployment slot, we can see that all the traffic is going to the default Web 3003. 100% of the traffic is going to the default slot. If in case you want to change some of the traffic to the newly created deployment slot, we can do that by changing the number out here. So if we say, take an example, 20% of the traffic, you want it to redirect to Web 3003-02, then you can select that number out here. But let's keep it zero for the time being. And we'll go to the newly created slot. Let's open the URL and the new tab. And this is the default page that we can see. Now I'm going back to the portal. I'll go to the app editor. Click on go. It will open the app service editor in new tab. Let me create a new index.html file. Let's type some code here and I'll rename this. I'll zoom in. Now it is already saved. So we'll just browse this page and see if we can see the newly created page or not. So here we can see that we are accessing the newly created slot and we can see that the web page is showing the content that we have uploaded. Now let's go back to the portal and out here, what we're gonna do is We'll go back to the app service. We'll go back to the deployment slot. So now what we are going to do, we are going to say that all the traffic will be swapped from the default prediction URL to the newly created URL. So I'm swapping it. And out here we can define the source and the target. So now the source is 3003-02. Now all the traffic will be started going to the newly created slot that we have. So I'll say you can also preview it before you swap it, but we are just swapping it and see how it goes.
press done so we'll close this out here we'll refresh that okay now let's go to the web url which is the default url click on refresh okay so now when we are on our default url and when we refresh that we can see that the request is going to the 02 slot that we have created and if we go to the newly created slot and refresh that we can see that the request is going to the first url or the default url of web app so this is the user deployment slot where you can swap it so benefit is that you don't need to share the newly created url with all the users they will still go to the old url but they will get access to the newly uploaded content right so going back to the portal out here so again, if in case we want to change it back, we can again swap that. We'll say swap. And it will again make this swap. Okay, swapping is successfully completed. Let's close it refresh this again go back to the URL so this is 3003 let's refresh this and now we can see that the traffic started going to the same old content so we can see the same old content that we have uploaded earlier let's go back to the 02 slot and refresh that page and now we can see that all the traffic is going to the 02 slot. I hope you like this video. If you have learned something, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it. Thanks for watching it. Bye, keep smiling, have fun.